Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Hopefully you're doing well and let's get started. Today I'm going to be talking about something that has been plaguing me since the day I bought this phone. Now this is my personal Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I've been using this phone for the past 11 months or so. Previously I had owned a Note 8 and with that phone you could plug in your headphone and you can charge the phone at the same time when you intend to game for long hours. But ever since I got this phone, that was an impossible thing to do. At least till I got the adapters for the headphone jack. Now, in the box, it does come with these AKG earbuds. These are pretty good earbuds. It's got about two software updates since I first got them, but it's only type C. So you can plug this headphone into your phone and that's about it. You can play it for as long as the battery lasts and then, well, you gotta charge it or you gotta use earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds. But the Bluetooth earbuds to date still has lag in them. And I use the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless System earbuds, something of a sort, but first gen. So it's still got some bit of lag in that. So I went to a lot of computer shops and I checked online and there were a lot of uh, guys selling this adapter, this cheap adapter which promises you that you're able to game and charge the phone at the same time. Now, I found that to be untrue. And after doing a little bit of research, I came to a conclusion that this phone does not have DAC in built into the phone and you gotta buy an adapter which has a DAC. So that's why I have these three DACs in front of me ranging from the cheapest right up to the most expensive one. This is from a Chinese company, Basis. Actually, they are all from Chinese companies. This is from Basis. This is a McDodo or something, and this is from Moshi. This is by far the most expensive adapter that I've owned. I've been using this adapter for some time, since um, about 10 months or so. And uh, this is something new, which is cheaper, while this is the cheapest. Now, when you go to the shops, when you go to phone shops or computer shops, you're gonna find this for the most part, or something equivalent to this where there's no inbuilt jack. And let me tell you, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work with Samsung, it's not gonna work with a lot of phones. So you need something like this. Don't get cheated. And that's the reason why I decided to make this video, so that I can just impart this knowledge out there. There's not been much articles surfacing on the web, and even if there is, there's been very vague and nobody really specifies this. So let's get started. This is a cheap $20 headphone adapter so if you take out the box all you get in the box is this adapter now this adapter is I mean I'm not gonna fall this it's pretty well built so it does say it does come with a USB-C end and on the other end you've got a USB-C power in with a headphone jack adapter now plugging in your headphone and, and using this on the phone does not do anything the phone does not recognize this nor does it switch off the um, speakers, but it does charge the phone. That's about it. It can just charge, but it does not recognize, the phone does not recognize this as it does not have a built-in DAC. So let's keep that aside. Now let's talk about the more expensive ones. Now how expensive are we talking about? When I first got this about 10 months ago, I paid about 140 ringgit for this. I had no choice. Back then, it was so difficult to find an adapter with a DAC built-in. You know, you could find hundreds of these but it was so hard to find something like this. The only one that I could find was from Belkin, if I'm not mistaken, and Belkin cost a lot. This was like north of 200 ringgit. So I wasn't ready to spend that kind of money, so I bought this 140 ringgit one, and it worked fine. You plug this into your phone, and even without power, it cuts the, the speakers, and you're able to use your headphone with this. So if you don't want to charge your phone, you can just plug this in and use it until your battery dies. Or if you want to play PUBG for long extended hours, you could just plug it into the current and charge and your phone will charge while it's gaming. This is good, it's reliable, I've tested this for 10 months. This is from Moshi. Now, if you don't want to spend so much money on this, on, uh, on this dongle, you can buy this. This is from McDodo. If you realize, it, it does state here on the box that you've got a DAC. It supports up to 60 watts of uh, USB-C power delivery fast charge and you've got high res audio support. And on the back, it's nothing much, it just says it's made out of uh, aluminum alloy and it supports call function as well. So, let's get this out of the box. And there's some paperwork in here, it says uh, usage manual. So, all right, so in the manual, it just clearly states uh, something that you already know. You don't really need to read it much, it's pretty much straightforward. But I'm, I'll pause it right here. If you'd like to have a look at it, I'll pause the video. Now let's get straight to the dongle. Okay, this dongle is made out of aluminum alloy. 
and it's built pretty well. I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's it's very well built. It's made of it's made out of uh, good sturdy material. Something like the Moshi as well, actually. But the Moshi, for where we I feel it feels a little bit more sturdy. Well, this is sturdy. You can't really press it in. Well, and I can feel a little bit of um, force that can be applied that could deform this over time. But anyway, you're not going to be sitting on it, so no issues there. You've got a braided cable here that leads up to a USB-C type N. And the same thing, you've got power delivery fast charge with a headphone jack adapter, same thing with the Moshi. Now, I've tested this power delivery already. This is not my first time that I'm unboxing this. I've already plugged it into my MacBook Pro 13 inch from uh, 2018. It charges fine with or without this plugged in. Now, theoretically, this should work even with the latest iPad Pro because it does have a DAC built in, so it should not cause you any problems for phones or devices with or without a DAC. But it doesn't seem to work with my MacBook Pro. There's no audio support out of its uh, USB-C ports. I'm not too sure whether it's a fault on this. Or the MacBook Pro itself doesn't support any audio out through this dongle. Now, to let me demonstrate to you. Okay, so now I have one of the most famous music that you will know. And now this is playing through my, my Note 10 speakers. And if I were just to plug it in without power, and plug my headphone in, it cuts the audio. So, as you can see, full volume, it's plugged in. I don't even have a power going into, just an empty cable, and it cuts the audio. It's still playing. And if I were to unplug it, it plays through the speakers. And connecting it back to the phone, give it time to recognize and then it's going to ask you to choose your voice service so in this case i'm just going to google never bixby and that enables your voice assistant and eh? brings up google assistant so it does support phone call through the dongle now how expensive is the dongle is about 60 to 70 ringgit based on the time of purchase and the kind of promotions that are going on on lazada so to just recap on what i've said for those of you who are not sure or those of you who have bought many of this kind of dongles and at the end suffer because you know you've been cheated out of 20 ringgit, 15 ringgit, well just be mindful that this dongle is not going to work for most phones. There's very rare phones or very few phones that have DAC built into them that's going to be able to support uh, audio out through dongles like this, these cheap ones. So try to always buy dongles which have DAC in them. Now this applies for both Android and iPhone as well. Even the, the, the cheap 35 or 49 uh, ringgit dongle that you can buy from Apple, even that has a DAC built in. So why risk buying a cheap dongle that's, you know, 12 ringgit, yes, it's, it, it's, it's easy on your wallet, but then you're not gonna be able to use it and then you gotta go out and spend a little bit more. So at one go, buy a good dongle that's well made, something like from McDodo or Moshi, and you're not gonna regret it. So that's about all that I wanted to tell you in this video. There's been a, a, a lot of confusion about it, even among my friends. So I just decided to make this short video. I hope you found this helpful. Stay safe, keep clean, and I'll see you in the next video. And most probably, I'll be talking about the Inports 12 in my next video. I'll try and compare it with my Sennheiser True Momentum, uh, whatever. I forgot the name again. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.